Alright, so the first step is to take four of our ropes and I'm using two of those extra long ropes and then two of the 10 feet ropes. And what we're going to do is find the midpoint of these ropes. So hold them all together, fold them evenly in half, and find that middle point. So this would be my middle point, so I have exactly the same amount of ropes going this way as I do going this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie 25 inches of square knots on both sides. So I'm going to start here going down with square knots until I reach 25 inches. Then what we'll do is turn our strap around and continue making square knots the other direction. So once we're done, we'll have 50 inches of square knots. So you want to make sure those two extra long pieces of rope are on both sides because these are the ropes we're tying the actual square knot with. So to make my square knot, I'm going to take those long pieces of rope and I'm going to cross it over the two ropes in the middle to form this kind of loop. Then I take that side on the left to go over the right. I'm going to send it behind the two in the middle and up through the loop. And then I'm just going to pull that through and pull it tight. Then I'm going to take the side on the left to cross over the two ropes in the middle to form my loop. The side on the right goes over the left behind the two in the middle and up through the loop. And just pull it tight. And that is my first square knot. And just to make it easier to manage these long ropes, I just bundled them together and secured it with a little rubber band. And we're just repeating these square knots again until we reach 25 inches. Once you've made one half of your bag strap the desired length, so mine is about 25 inches long, we're just going to take this and rotate it around. And now we just continue our square knots going the other direction. So once your bag handle is about 50 inches long total, it's time to attach the remaining four ropes to our project. So I'm just going to start here and I'm going to separate these four ropes into sections of two and I'm going to bring in one of those other ropes. Take the rope and fold it evenly in half and attach it to two ropes with a lark's head knot. So I'm just going to send it over those two ropes around so the loop comes on the other side where I can pull the other two ends through the loop and pull it tight. And I'm just going to slide it all the way up next to my row of square knots. Now I'm going to do the exact same on the other two ropes. Thank you. 
And to lock these into place, I will just tie a normal square knot with the four ropes in the middle. Repeat this process on the left side of your bag handle. Just like that, so you should have two sides with eight ropes hanging down. Now it's time to start forming the basket for our water bottles to sit into. To do this, we will be tying more square knots. So, so I'm gonna start by connecting my two little handles together with a square knot. So I'm gonna take two ropes from the far right of one side and two ropes from the far left of the other side and connect them with a square knot. As I tie the square knot, I want to leave about three inches of space from my bag handle to this new square knot. Just like that. Now I'm going to move and tie another square knot in even placement with the next four cords. I'm going to move on to the left side and do the next four ropes here. Just like that. And now we have these two ends on opposite sides, so we're gonna connect these together as well. So to do this, we're just gonna have to fold this in half on top of each other. So I folded this so those two ends are next to each other, and now I can just connect these again with a square knot, lining up the square knots with my previous row. So again, three inches. Just like that. And now I'm gonna continue making the basket by working down and tying rows of alternating square knots all the way around. So I'm just gonna take the next two ropes here from this previous square knot and two ropes from the square knot next to it. And I'm gonna move down a couple inches and tie another square knot. Rotate your bag as needed to fill in the remaining rows.
So you should have four square knots in each row as you go around. So I've tied four rows of square knots and I'm just going to take my water bottle that I want to use with this holder and see if it fits or if I need to tie more rows. So I'm just going to slide it in and kind of adjust where I think I would want it to sit in the bottle. And I would say that I like how that fits. So this is kind of what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tie these ropes together with an overhand knot. So this is just a great simple finishing knot that will give this a base. An alternative knot is a gathering knot which is a little bit of a smoother finish. So it is a total personal preference. So I'm just doing an overhand knot so I like to take the ropes around my fingers to form this nice loop. Then I'm going to pull all the ends up through kind of tug on this and make sure you're placing it where you want it to sit. So I'm about pulling this back up my bottle and then I'm going to tighten this. And I do like the way that's sitting so I am happy with how that knot turned out. And so I'm going to smooth this knot by pulling on each individual string. I'm just going to give them all a nice gentle tug and this is just going to smooth that knot and tighten it out. Just like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off my ends and shorten them up some so that my tassel isn't too long and unmanageable. And just for a finishing touch, I'm just going to tie little knots on each end of this rope for just a little bit of added texture. So just simple knots. And there we go. Our water bottle holder with a cross body strap is now finished. I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.